Alrighty, so today's episode, we are going to talk about protein synthesis, um, and that is making proteins. Remember, synthesis is synth is to put together, so we're putting together, we're making proteins. Um, this occurs in two stages, and the first of those stages is transcription, and that's specifically what we're going to talk about today. So remember, when we talk about DNA uh, and the structure of DNA. We talked about the fact that DNA, it codes for proteins. The information in there tells your body what proteins to make. Well, that's great and all, but how do we do that? And the VIP piece of information here is RNA. So RNA is responsible for taking the message of DNA, taking the language of DNA, and translating it into the message of proteins. So we use the RNA to take that message through. So let's talk about how we do that. Uh, before we talk really about how that happens, let's re rewind a bit um, and remind ourselves, RNA, what does it look like? So when we talked about DNA, we talked about the structure of RNA a little bit and the fact that it is different in a few ways. One of those ways is that it's single-stranded. So it only has one side. And that's really important because it can come in, take the information from the DNA, and then move out. It's also a lot smaller. We just have little chunks. It doesn't take the entire information from the DNA. It just takes segments and sends it out of the nucleus. The other thing here that's important is these bases we have a swap out. Remember, with our DNA, we had A, T, C, and G. Here in RNA, we swap. So we have no thymine, and instead we have uracil. So A, U, and then C, G. And in a minute, I'll show you a little bit more about how that match up, matches up. But we have uracil swapped out for thymine instead. And then the other piece of information that's different, there's a reason it's called RNA. And that's because that backbone, that sugar phosphate backbone, is made with ribose, oops, ribose sugar instead of that deoxyribose that's present in the DNA. So the first step when we make proteins is to take the message from the DNA and code it into the message of RNA. So we actually call this messenger RNA or mRNA. That's the specific type of RNA that's involved in this particular step, in the step of transcription. So let's take a look at what this looks like. So here is our nucleus. Do, do, do. Here's our nuclear membrane. This is our nucleus. And we have our DNA. Notice this is our DNA strand. All right. So what will happen is this enzyme here, this is RNA polymerase. And RNA polymerase is a multifunctional enzyme. It's pretty cool. Uh, it is able to unwind that DNA. So it will come in and it will open it up. Notice we've got this replication or we've got this uh, replication fork over here. Um, and then it's open on this side as well. Um, so we have our DNA or RNA polymerase rather comes in and opens it up. And then it will start placing the appropriate base pairs onto the DNA. So our DNA here has a T, a T, a T, and a C. So what the RNA polymerase is going to do is it's going to match things up. So I have a C over here, 
so it's going to put a G on. Oh, I guess I could use this. This would be easier. Yeah. So it puts a G on here. T, what matches with T? A does. We've got another T, so we put another A. And then we've got another T, so we put on another A. We'll write it here, too. For, I think it works either way. So our new polymerase will pop the G on here. It will put the, the A on here, the A here, and then the A here. And it will keep working its way through to match up. Say we had an A here. If there was an A here, what base pair would we pop on here? That's right. We were going to need a U. Because in RNA, there is no T to match up. The U will match up instead. So this here, this is my R, my M RNA strand. When I'm all done with it, my mRNA strand will head out of the nucleus and out to the cell um, where it will go where it needs to go, um, depending on what kind of uh, protein is going to be made. But it'll head out so it can go to the next step of protein synthesis. So let's do a double check. Let's see if we can match up. All right, so this here is my DNA code. If I'm going to make an RNA code, oh, I made it hard for you, huh? Right, so my RNA code here, A matches with, that's right, it matches with U. T matches with A. T matches with A. T matches with C. C with G. A with T, oh, no, not with T, A with U, T with A, C, G, G, A, and U. So this would be my RNA code here. And this will head out and move on into the next step, which is translation, which we will talk about in our next episode.